Good morning San Andreas, I'm Kev Poole and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be showing you guys how to save your shit from DMO. So first off, I hope everyone's healthy and doing well, and I'd like to give a huge shout out to all of the essential workers out there all around the world. You guys are doing a great job. And since everybody says my videos are kind of dad-like, here we go. Don't touch your goddamn face. Wash your fucking hands, and if you're not an essential worker, stay the fuck at home. But seriously, for everybody that is practicing good social distancing, proud of you all. Way to go. Keep it up. Maybe your thumbs are getting a little tired from all this video gaming, but you know it is for the best of the world. So, we're going to get right into this video and show you guys how to save your shit from DMO. So, shout out to Native Gamer since he requested me to do this video. Sorry buddy, it took me a week to get it done, but I forgot the cord to the laptop when I was heading out of town to work. Otherwise I would have did it last week when I recorded this. So the beginning of the video was basically the tail end of getting into the DMO glitch. And here we're going into a closed friend session. What I'd like to do is once I get into the closed friend session, you can prove me wrong on this, but I just jump right into a new session. Seems to work a little bit better. Sometimes I get some problems with saving the stuff. Some of the problems I have ran into is not being able to save the experience from doing the, the experience missions, such as table cards and those little icon bullshits. So just jump into a new session or debunk it and prove me wrong on this, but you know, it's only one step, whatever, just take the step. It works out better in the long run. So from here, I think what we'll do is we'll just start off with some experience. Now you can either create your own race or I'll put a link in the description for my race here. And it's basically so you can start the mission over and over again right at the table card. Thanks a lot, Broom Tango. You're the one that showed me this one. So once we've teleported up to the location where the card is at, we're just going to give it a second. Our race should pop up behind me, and then we'll be able to collect the card. So I'll give it a quick minute here, and we'll... Uh, do this a couple times just to uh, get a few levels that way you guys can see it when I restart the game. Now if you don't want to use this race or this race or make your own race or mission up here by the table I find this one's good because it's kind of out of the way and not a lot of people here. There is one down at the pier and there's a rock star mission that's right down there. All you got to do is make sure that in your interaction menu under hide options you have all the jobs shown so that way the job circles are going to show up for you. You just go into the job circle, right D-pad to start it, and then you're just going to back right out of the circle, collect the card again. You're going to do that until you really get sick of doing it. Clearly, I've done this for a few hours since I'm over level 1000. But honestly, anything past 130, you really don't need to worry about it, just bragging rights. But it is kind of nice to have a character that's way up there in the thousands. Just people will laugh at you when your skills are shit. So, what we're going to do is we're going to purchase a bunch, bunch of vehicles. I'm doing scramjets just because I have garages and garages and garages full of deluxos. You're going to want to use deluxos. I'm just using this so you guys can see it in the garage and I'm going to leave a deluxo in there. So the steps following this, for every garage you do, you're going to have to go back after you exit director mode and switch your cars around. Don't worry, I'm going to show you how to do that nice and easy. And we're going to do the experience at the same time because you're going to have to save that. I am going to mention do not find a new session once you've done your experience. If you do that, when you jump into the new session, your experience is going to be back to where you started. So from here, what I like to do is make sure I got an oppressor, or something I can fly on, and I'm going to go over to the Lester mission. This is where you're going to kind of spawn out of director mode anyway, so it's a good idea to have something that you can travel with right there. So from here, I'm going to open up the interaction menu. I'm going to go down to exit director mode and I'm going to accept that alert. Eventually. I don't know. It was about like a week ago I recorded this, so I'll get it right sometime. Could have been really late at night. Thanks a lot, Native Gamer. You got me inspired at 3 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> so anyways, here we go. We've now exited director mode, and we're going to pop. So now that we're out of director mode, your money's going to be unfrozen, and so is your RP. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get legitimate RP and you need to see that bar move at the top. Now a lot of other videos they'll say just go and get a couple stars, lose a star as you'll gain RP. I found Rockstar did a bit of a tweak and you don't really get um, RP from losing the cops. You can fly over the prison, get four stars and boom, no. 
this is kind of a two-in-one deal right here go into inside a store rob the store do not kill the clerk if you kill the clerk you're not going to get the save circle in the rp or maybe you'll get the rp but you won't get the save circle anyways so just scare the shit out of this poor bastard don't kill him he does work hard and he may be an essential worker so you're not going to have any booze without him during quarantine so once you've robbed the store you should see a little yellow save bar in the bottom corner and at the top you're going to notice the rp went up a couple other ways to get rp is you can go and blow up a signal jammer or you can try the cop method it just does not seem to work for me so i don't even bother with it so now we're going to head over to our garage so if you noticed i had two stars i lost it i didn't get any rp for that but i did see my rp go up with robbing the store so i'm not even going to worry about it i know it's going to save now so from here you're going to run inside your garage so as i said for the purpose of this video i went and rode over all my deluxos with scramjets kept one deluxo here just so you guys can see the shifting process so what you're going to do is you're going to start at the top and you're just going to keep working that one car down all the way to the bottom end what this does is it shifts every single car to a new slot since you're unfrozen from your money and your rp it's going to save everything if you don't do this your shit's not going to save when you exit the game so you're going to want to do this process in every single garage that you bought vehicles for while your money was frozen if you don't do this it's not going to save from here after you have finished doing all your garages you're going to want to force a save there's several ways you can do that you can change your outfit and just look for the little orange circle at the bottom like you see right there that's one way to do it another way you can do it is you can blow up a personal vehicle call morris mutual and you can have them replace it that's going to give you another save circle and i think in here actually i got killed by the cops and I've seen a safe circle on that one as well. So there's another way that you can do it as well. But yeah, just make sure that you get the save. Do it a couple times just to be certain. You technically only need to do it once, but you know what? You've gone through all this trouble. What's the difference with doing it a couple times? I don't think too much. So from here, I'm going to I think call up the mechanic, wasn't I? Oh, I can't remember. No, oh, Morse Mutual. So yeah, here's the one for saving this. And just take a look in the bottom right hand corner you're gonna see the little save circle come up so you know what just to be safe do two saves change your outfit and then do that then restart the game and you're gonna want to use l1 r1 and clear the cache once you've done that you're gonna pop back into the game go online and go and check and make sure your shit's saved should all be there so if you notice my levels already saved at the top and we're gonna head outside and Give the mechanic a call take a look and see if all of our cars are there so we replaced a bunch of the luxos with scramjets not that money's an issue because usually if you fill up an entire character full of deluxos you have quite a few hundred million so we'll give the mechanic a quick call here take a look at the garage that i've done they should be one deluxo and a shit ton of scramjets well nine isn't really a shit ton but still they'll all be there so We've successfully saved all our shit in direct from director mode online. And I thank you guys for watching my video. Stay safe, stay healthy, wash your hands.